side of the government, ito naman, ang dito si Assistant Secretary Tony Lambino. And on the side of the academe, we have Attorney J.L. Batong Bakal, of, a director of the Institute for Maritime Affairs and Law of the Sea, UP. Pinag-uusapan natin yung Chinese loans, dalawa na ang nasa-sign under this government. The Chico River Pump Irrigation Project and the Kaliwa Dam Project. We are talking about those two loans specifically. Do you see anything objectionable about those loans? Looking through the provisions, we can see that uh, it's a very, very uh, tight contract. In a way, it's rather burdensome for the borrower. And then the, the one that caught the eye of most people are the provisions on, in case of default, uh, what happens. No? The default provisions for themselves, for me, are the more important uh, aspects. But uh, in case of default, there are also provisions that, uh, number one, uh, the parties will be uh, will basically take the dispute to arbitration and the venue of arbitration is in China which is the lender and the governing law is also China no? uh, and in case of any such disputes the venue uh, of this arbitration is also in China so of course that immediately raised an eyebrow is it raised one eyebrow raised both eyebrows or both eyebrows up to the ceiling well for me I usually raise only one eyebrow you cannot also blame the lender if they will impose certain terms, na pabor sa kanila. Eh, tayo umuutang eh. And so, because of that, uh, that led me to try to also understand it a little bit more. Uh, and of course, since the documents were made available by DOF, uh, other people, naturally, uh, who also had similar concerns, also started looking into it. I think the issue was complicated by the statements of the of Malacanang. Basically, uh, stated that <laughs> Uh, we can use natural resources as collateral. So that is why I think a lot of interest was generated into what are really the provisions of this contract. What is wrong about it? Well, number one, you cannot use natural resources as collateral for anything because under the Constitution, all natural resources are owned by the state. They cannot be alienated. Is it grossly disadvantageous to the government the, after you read the agreement? I, that's, I cannot tell that whether it's grossly advantageous. I can tell that it's burdensome for sure. No, just because a contract is burdensome does not necessarily mean it's going to be annulled, irrevocable, no, or that it's wrong. Because after all, based on principles of contract, you also have the freedom to enter into whatever contract that you wish. You looked at the contracts and you say, it is burdensome. Yes. And do you feel that its officials have caused this burdensome contract to be had? Cannot make that conclusion yet. It is burdensome. Yes. Sino ang nag burdensome? Well, naturally, the government. Nakasaad sa Article 8.1 ng Loan Agreement na isinusuko ng Pilipinas ang mga pag-aari nito kapalit ng utang kapag di nabayaran. Itinuturing na patrimonial assets ang mga lugar na maraming langis at gas sa exclusive economic zone ng Pilipinas sa West Philippine Sea. Kasama riyan ang mayaman sa langis at gas na Recto Bank o Reed Bank. Sir, gaano kalaki yung chance na makamkam nga po ng China itong mga assets natin? Kasi sinasabi naman po ng DOF na kayang-kaya daw natin bayaran itong utang na to. Bumilis yung pagkuha natin ng yung mula sa China under the Trade Administration. May target sila na umabot to as much as 14.4 billion. Kumbaga, time bomb siya eh. Um, hindi ba naman maaari magka-problema ngayon or sa susunod taon or even pag nakatapos ng Trade Administration, per, pero time bomb talaga siya kasi dumalobong utang sa China, dehado tayo dun sa mga provision. May issue rin sa laki ng interest na kailangang bayaran sa China. 2% ang interest rate para sa Chico River Pump Irrigation Project. Ba't ho ba nagkakaroon ng differences sa interest rate? At saka ano po yung impact sa Pilipinas na mas mataas nga yung interest rate ng China? Yung ayuda, case to case yan eh. So halimbawa, hindi pwede compare ang ayuda para sa irrigation project sa ayuda sa isang power project o ayuda sa isang um, transport project. So yung interest rate, Sa iba't ibang mga utang, medyo comparing apples and oranges dyan. Um, ganun pa man, may record talaga ang China sa buong mundo na magbigay ng relatibong mataas na interest rate. Doon pa yung nakikita kong problema. Eh. There are provisions in other contracts na nasi-safeguard yung interest ng Filipino people pero wala dito sa particular agreements na to. I'm talking about the provisions of na commitment to abide by environmental standards, commitment to abide by the anti-corruption rules. If I may share also, in fact, Kaliwa, the Kaliwa Dam uh, Loan Agreement is not yet effective because it does not yet have an ECC. 
an environmental compliance certificate. Kasama po yun sa disenyo ng loan agreement na hanggat hindi nakatanggap o hindi na issuean ng DENR, ng environmental compliance certificate, ang, uh, ang uh, project ay hindi pa effective ang loan. Uh, so actually, tama si Attorney J, uh, the loan agreements uh, on their own are pretty standard. No? Um, if you look at the provisions... Hindi, kasi sabi lang niya, yung wala... Yung, burdensome but not necessarily... Uh, no, we're talking about... Grossly disadvantageous. Because I think, and please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Attorney Batong Bakal, you can find the same provisions, maybe in different words, across different loan agreements under different administrations. Under France, the French law governs, and the seat of the arbitral, uh, arbitral committee or tribunal is Paris. Under Korea, the laws of Korea. Uh, also govern the loan agreement, uh, loss of Japan for the Japanese loans, and loss of China for the more recent Chinese loans. So, is that right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Iba iba din talaga. Uh, and uh, for instance, the other thing I would like to share is, um, yung loan agreements are uh, negotiated individually. Uh, so, for instance, uh, the Chico River loan agreement, yung uh, arbitration venue ay Beijing. Yung uh, Kaliwa Dam Loan Agreement, yung arbitral venue is Hong Kong. So, nag rin. I guess the most important consideration in terms of whether uh, these projects are good for the people or not is whether well, we're not we talking about good for the people. We're just talking about the technical things first. Yes, but first... disadvantages. Yes, I kasama mean, po yun eh. Kasi if we assume that the projects are good without evaluating them and then we borrow money to finance them, that's bad for the people. But... On the other hand, if we are able to ascertain that these projects are useful, that they have a, an economic internal rate of return that is acceptable, um, and then we get the concessional financing to support these projects, mm -hmm. then it's good for the country. Mm -hmm. And all of the projects that uh, I have uh, mentioned, those have all undergone scrutiny by the NEDA uh, Investment Coordination Committee, yeah. the NEDA Board, uh, the Monetary Board of yeah. the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Yes. And in conjunction with that, are we borrowing respons responsibly in a way that the country can afford to pay these, uh, these loans? Dapat nating bantayan. Magkaroon ng isang agreement na dahil masyado siyang mahigpit, masyado siyang mabigat, parang designed to fail na tuloy yung ating uh, yung borrower no yun yung dapat nating bantayan as far as i'm concerned but what do you find burdensome in this chinese loan kapansin-pansin nila parang ang mas ano siya mas mahigpit nga kaysa doon sa iba you have this tenor of the loan yeah. meaning to say the maturity and the grace period Opa. the chinese loans the two chinese loans they have 20 years to pay 7, seven years. years grace yes. di ba the Japanese loans, 40 years to pay, 12 years, grace 12 years or 10 years grace. Korean, 40 years, 12 years, 10 years. Kasi meron pong mga key considerations mm -hmm. pagdating sa pagpalit ng uh, currency ng isang loan into another currency but, para uh, maging comparable. Yes. Opo, una, ano ba yung uh, expectation ng market pagdating sa inflation dun sa mga bansa kung saan galing yung currency? That's one. Pangalawa, ano po ba ang expectation ng market over the life of the loan pagdating sa foreign exchange? Kasi po, gagalaw po yan over 20 or 40 years. Ano po ang expectation pagdating sa risk from that foreign In currency In other words, change? you're making assumptions today about how the currency will perform. Will perform. China is in U.S. dollars. Japan is in Japanese yen. To me, if it's going to be in U.S. dollars rather than in Chinese yuan, I'd be more scared because because the United States currency appreciates and appreciates and appreciates. Actually, so, the, the yield curve po of Chinese yuan is not yet predictable. Yeah. It's safer to borrow in U.S. dollars, okay. which is, that's, that's what we did. Iginit ang Malacanang na hindi pwede ang sinasabi ni Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio na ang readback na sinasabing mayaman sa langis ay bahagi sa collateral ng Pilipinas sa pautang ng China. Nakasaad pa sa Article 8.5 ng Loan Agreement na pag nagkaroon ng alitan, may bentahe ang China. Ang siste, masusunod ang batas ng China at sa Beijing gagawin ang arbitration. Sir, ano pong track record ng China dun sa pagpapautang niya? Limbawa sa ibang bansa. Sa ibang mga bansa na nagka-problema, ang ginamit na pambayad ng mga bansa dahil wala silang 
nakapabayad sa utang na, na finance ay natural resources nila. Nangyari sa Ecuador, nagkaproblema sa isang dam project. Uh, ang pinababayad ng Ecuador ay advanced supplies ng langis sa murang halaga sa China ng ilang dekada.